Well, welcome to the very first of five presentations to inform our Year 10 families and all of our Year 10 students um, with regard to next year subject selections and also about the new QCE system, which this video is primarily about. Can I encourage all students and families to watch all five videos on this website page to make sure that you have a full understanding of our systems and our processes moving forward for our subject selections. Uh, welcome students and families of Year 10 into the Senior School and um, this moment as we prepare for next year uh, is a moment where Year 10s are entering a two-year senior phase of learning. Uh, it's quite an exciting time. The students are entering um, not only a, a new system from the QCAA, uh, but they're also entering their, the final preparation for career credentialing uh, and also those final two years to develop skills for work in the future. Uh, one of the uh, things that underpins this, the syllabuses that the students will be um, about to study over the next two years are our 21st century skills um, and these are the, the, the rationale that underpins our senior syllabus as uh, developed in the new system. Um, to prepare students in a new globalised and automated world, uh, our learning experiences through Year 11 and 12 need to offer opportunities for students to think critically in the classroom, um, opportunities where teachers allow the students to collaborate together with themselves, uh, to develop rich IT skills and technology, to learn effective uh, what, what it means to be a, uh, in an effective team uh, and all sorts of different modes of effective communication. So the 21st century skills are a very important part of all of the syllabuses that the students will soon undertake because uh, they are going into a, a new world order, a workforce um, of, of tomorrow that will be dominated by, by three important forces, uh, automation, globalization and collaboration. It's been um, more important than ever for students to learn the skills to collaborate effectively in a, a, um, a drastically shrinking world with regard to the technology and globalization. And, um, and of course, our working world in the future for our children has been radically changed by automation. It's estimated by futurists that 60% of students are being trained in jobs that will be radically affected by, by technological changes. We have uh, two separate authorities that, um, that bind um, and control and direct uh, the delivery of Year 11 and 12 subjects in the senior phase of learning. The first one is the QCAA, uh, the Queensland Curriculum and Assessment Authority. And this is the authority that oversees the delivery of our senior learning um, and is responsible for the quality assurance and the delivery of our benchmark for learning in Queensland, the Queensland Certificate of Education or, or the QCE. QTAC, on the other hand, is a very separate authority and has responsibility of producing a tertiary ranking um, and, uh, and responsibility for the application of placements in universities and also for the production of the ATAR. The QCE is the foundation um, or expectation of our students when the bulk of our students, the majority of Year 11s, will be registered uh, to receive a QCE and uh, it is our formal Queensland qualification. And, uh, and that means um, it is uh, our foundational expectations that students receive 20 credits, a set amount of learning, and to do that it needs to be at a set standard. In simple terms that means it needs to be a C or better, students need to be passing. Um, and also in a set pattern there are some 12 credits of the 20 that need to be uh, core courses, which means the courses are started and fully completed from start to finish to stop students from um, moving from subject to subject. And that's uh, Queensland's expectation that there's a depth of learning for our young students. And finally, there is a literacy and numeracy component where students must have a certain benchmark in English and maths results to qualify for the QCE. So what is, what's the main difference in the new QCE system? For most families will know that the OP system is now gone. Um, students now receive an ATAR and not an overall position or an OP when they graduate um, from year 12 in um, 2021 or 22 whenever they are a senior. The old system of 100% school-based assessment is now gone and it is replaced by some external assessment right at the end of their year 12 year. Um, for most subjects that accounts to 25% of their overall um, 
overall mark, but in maths and science subjects, the external assessment counts for 50% of their overall result that contributes towards an ATAR. So rather than five or six or even seven pieces of assessment in each subject, uh, the, the new QC system is streamlined down to three internal school-based assessments in all syllabuses in all general subjects uh, and applied subjects. Um, and the fourth piece of assessment is the external. So that's far fewer items of assessment for year 12s, but of course they're much more significant. They're weightier and have um, uh, more significance with regard to their, their value towards an ATAR. So the, in the new um, system comes new language. We're now uh, describing our subjects and our syllabuses in terms of general, which means the more academically rigorous subjects that, that lead on primarily to tertiary studies. Applied subjects, uh, which replaces the old non-authority terminology in the OP system, and are um, subjects where um, are more suited for students that are primarily interested in, um, in pathways that lead on to vocational education or work. And finally, the third type of subjects um, that students are choosing very soon are the vocational certificates, any subject starting with certificate in. And these are nationally accredited, uh, portable, uh, I, would, I would use the word adult subjects um, that uh, can be started and completed at high school. So the new process is, uh, has, a, has a system whereby the syllabuses uh, are offered from units one all the way through to units four. Year 12 uh, is units three and four. The students next year in year 10 next year will be starting year 11 units one and two. Uh, the assessment in Year 11 largely mirrors and prepares the students for Units 3 and 4, so they look very similar. And that means Units uh, 1 and 2, and also in 3 and 4, the students will, will be doing um, four main assessments through that, that um, course of study. The assessment has gone through a process of pre-endorsement which means that those assessment items have been externally checked and quality assured by QCAA officers. The next phase is confirmation. On completion of assessment, the student's work is de-identified and randomly selected by QCAA officers um, for a confirmation process. And finally, once all external assessment and school results have been completed at the end of the senior phase of learning, the subjects are scaled based on Queensland results to have um, very equitable um, and valid comparisons to, to pass on to QTAC and generate an ATAR. The external assessment is in the final term of Year 12 and uh, results will contribute 25% in most subjects or 50% in maths and science and is a return to something that Queensland hasn't seen for many decades and it's a priority for Kenmore to prepare the students for the skills of that external exam taking as well as for their foundational knowledge. The new timeframes of delivery, units one and two which I mentioned as year 11 work um, is uh, condensed to terms one to three of, of next year um, for any um, uh, year 11 students. That means term four of a year 11 year is the beginning of units three uh, and four, um, which is fundamentally the, the year 12 or ATAR summative assessment that the students begin. So by and large, year, uh, it's, um, it's probably accurate to say that year 12 really begins in term four of year 11. Um, why is that? Well, it's because the external assessment in Term 4 takes up over three weeks of a schedule of assessment and has pushed into the normal or the, the um, more traditional Year 12 year. And of course, um, it's meant the um, telescoping of the Year 11 offerings from um, Term 1 to 3. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And again, I strongly encourage you to, to continue with, um, with the other um, videos on this page uh, for a complete understanding of our systems and processes.